Hello, and welcome to our special presentation of Spooky Gardens, Dark, Ghostly, and Mysterious Plants. I am Lily Browning, coming to you from a fun remote location, and I have invited my friend John Burnett from the Hernando County Department of Public Works, and he's going to join us this morning and talk to us about the Spooky bar Gardens. Thank you, and go ahead, John. It's that time of year when our minds turn to dark, spooky, and mysterious thoughts. Preparing our home for the festive season can include the outdoors as well. Join us as we explore plants that can bring a gothic touch to your landscape throughout the seasons. Come to the dark side. Some plants are naturally dusky and mysterious. Some have been bred to bring out their dark side. Purple salvias come in several different varieties and hybrids. They can bring deep, dark colors to any pollinator garden, and the spikes will hold on to their black calyxes after the dark blue flowers drop. The tall spikes sway ominously in the wind, bringing a wraith-like vibe to your garden. Fountain grass is a tall, dark, and charming. It can act as a screen around your secret garden or stand as a tall sentry on protective duty. The rustling of the leaves as the wind blows creates a haunting sound in your dusky landscape. A new character has entered our chilling and thrilling landscape. Black diamond crepe myrtle has leaves so dark purple they appear to be black. This dwarf variety of an old standard is available with red, blush, or pure white blooms. Choosing the white blooms will make a ghostly statement against the black leaves at dusk, and the red blooms will bring a frightening chill in the daytime. As the crepe myrtle loses its leaves, the empty branches will bring an eerie touch to the nighttime garden. Don't commit crepe murder by over pruning. You will have a yard full of moaning myrtles and their shortened lifespan will come back to haunt you. With the spectral dark purple bracts that resemble wings, the bat flower is a must for any spooky garden. Hanging out in the Florida landscape, this bat resembling flower will bloom after the plant has produced at least two leaves. The bat keeps up their frightening appearance as this plant can bloom up to eight times in a season, late summer through fall. This plant likes the same conditions as orchids and prefers to lurk in the murky shadows. To bring a more gothic touch to your landscape, consider black mondo grass, purple night plant, or black prince coleus. Consider welcoming black petunia, a cool season annual, black begonia, black magic, elephant ears, or voodoo lilies to add to that spooky atmosphere. Turkey oaks are called blackjack oaks by native Floridians. If you have some turkey oaks, their thin, twisted appearance will add character to your dark garden. And when saturated with rain, the trunks will look black and gloomy. Apparitional additions. With a dark backdrop drop to your Gothic garden, Consider adding ghostly white plants that will bring an unearthly quality to your piece of land. Dusty Miller is a cool seasonal annual which is silver white and can bring a ghostly feel to the garden. It can also be worked into a winter themed garden for future holidays. Saltbush is a native shrub that is covered in white fluff in the fall. 
its spindly, gangly frame brings character to the spooky garden and when covered in white can invoke a fearsome spirit in the dark of night. Spider lilies are an eerie addition to any ghostly garden. Native varieties are available and their arachnid-like illusion will startle your garden guests. A water feature is a mainstay in any horror book or movie. Bring some phantasmal fun to your pond or water garden by incorporating native white water lilies. An evening garden is simply not complete without some type of night blooming cereus. The queen of the night and usually haunt areas to our south, so keep these nocturnal wraiths in pots so they can be brought in when cold winds blow. They will need a tree or some, some type of structure to climb when their blooms haunt the night. Moonflowers are surely something to howl about. They linger in the dark, shadowy trees and not only resemble the moon, they open when the moon is out, attracting nighttime pollinators. It's possible to find them open in the daytime in a dimly lit and dismal area or on an overcast, melancholy day. Like any creature of the night, they shy away from artificial light as well as the sun. Other white silvery or ghostly plants to consider would be angel's trumpet and button bush. Let's look at the garish and gory now. What's black and white with splotches of red for added fright? Your dark gothic garden? Some red accents to consider in your ghostly garden include hurricane lily, scarlet sage, and turk's cap. Also consider fire spike, red canna lily, gloriosa lily, red cranium lily, and let us not forsake the blood lily. Dragon fruit, fruit will give you a freaky red fruit and a white nocturnal flower to add to your ghostly group. Dragon fruit is cold sensitive, so keep it in a container and bring it inside when the night air brings a chill. There really is a vast array of plant choices when seeking that touch of red to add to your fearsome landscape. Carnivorous plants bring a voracious appetite for flesh to the wetland area or bog garden. If you have the right conditions, consider bringing sunju into the scary mix. Pitcher plants trap unsuspecting prey, so the hungry plant can absorb the protein from their bodies when they lure. These plants are very frightening in the insect world. Butterworts or carnivorous bromeliads will make a perfect spooky addition to your wetland or container garden. Even some native orchids and other wildflowers lure in their unsuspecting prey and dissolve them whole. Pitcher plants and bromeliads hold water in their tanks, so take great care that you don't attack blood-sucking mosquitoes in your thriller paradise. The devil is in the details. Bring out the extra spooky vibrations by adding a large agave plant or another, for another worldly feel. A carrion flower will not only provide a super name for your goth garden, 
the smell of rotting flesh will add an extra layer of realism. Brain cactus will provide the thought to your Abbey normal landscape. Keep that cerebral houseplant in a quirky container and bring it outside for special spooky occasions. Add touches that would include string lights and dripping Spanish moss. Statues or gargoyles bring watchful eye to your dark and mysterious garden. It's alive! What ideas do you have to bring the touch of spookiness to your garden of good and evil this season? Remember that the first principle of a Florida-friendly gardening, right plant, right place. Check site condition requirements. Not all of these haunting plants bloom at the same time, so you'll be able to keep them frightening fun up there in other seasons of the year. Check around for availability of these plants. Some are common to our area, and others might require a bit of intrigue and mystery to uncover. Enjoy your hauntingly spooktacular garden. If you dare to continue your journey into Florida-friendly landscaping, contact Lily Browning at lilyb at hernandocounty.us or conjure her at 352-540-6230. Thank you very much, John. And thank you, everyone, for joining us for Spooky Gardens.